What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go EV discussion video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Mega Evolutions and discussing will they or will they not appear inside the, the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go EV games. Now, let's just talk about the information we do know. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go EV is clearly a remake of the Pokemon Yellow games. Obviously, the Pokemon Yellow games did not have Mega Evolutions introduced inside of them. We do know Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee is going to have only the 151 Pokemon that were found inside of that game. And we do know they are including a low form, something that wasn't in the Pokemon Yellow version. So we're going to be able to catch them somehow. They haven't announced how we're going to catch a low forms inside of the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee games. And we also know that we can bring them over via Pokemon Go. I bring that up because I, I do want to kind of expand on the idea of them expanding the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go EV games and including mechanics not only from out like games like Pokemon Go but the core RPG games stuff that we learn throughout the years like features that were introduced later down the line like loan forms like giving Pokemon items to hold also potentially mega evolutions now we do know it's the 151 Pokemon again and we do know that there are a more than a few Pokemon that can Mega Evolve inside of that batch. We got the starters, obviously, Venusaur, Blastoise, and Charizard. We also know that, that Pidgeot can Mega Evolve, Beedrill, I'm, I'm probably missing a few others, Kangaskhan. There are, again, more than a few Pokemon that can Mega Evolve inside of the base set 151. Now, the reason why this is just popping up and in the news is because we got a brand new toy figurine update and I know you're like wait toy figurine update yeah yeah hold on hold on let me explain coming from pokeshopper.com they tweeted this today it said I'm probably gonna say this wrong but a Tommy figure I'm just gonna call it a Tommy figure list publication indicates Mega Charizard X Y Venusaur and Mega Blastoise are all to be released this November we are currently investigating further listings now you might be thinking to yourself wait whoa 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 is they're releasing toys in November around the same time Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee are releasing? I wonder what they could be releasing this for. Now, to go into it a little bit deeper, let's jump over to Paul Ryan's account on Twitter, who is the person who runs PokeShopper. If you didn't know, you should follow both of these accounts on Twitter if you have a Twitter account. It says, obviously, working in conjunction with the mainline series release, biggest hint yet that Mega Evolution could be featured in the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. For sure. As for the missing numbers, we could be seeing more than one singular addition to Pokemon. Meaning that we do know that we are getting a gift Pokemon that is going to be a brand new Pokemon that is going to be in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. But this leak, quote unquote, this toy information dump kind of includes numbers past this initial issue one Pokemon. So we could be seeing multiple Pokemon or we could be potentially be seeing a brand new evolution like a mega evolution to an existing Pokemon. Now this got the whole Pokemon community speculating like are we going to see a brand new mega evolution to maybe the 151 and oddly enough they are listings for more Pokemon toys to be released in November of Porygon and Lapras to again coincide along with the game. So a lot of people are saying, wait, that'd be crazy if we got a Porygon or a Lapras Mega Evolution. Now I gotta let you know that Porygon does evolve. It doesn't evolve in the first generation. So we will not be seeing Porygon 2 or Porygon Z inside of the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee games unless they 
somehow included, which I would doubt because I will open the wormhole of having to include probably baby forms and evolution to other Pokemon like Scyther and Tangela who got evolutions later on down the line. So I don't see Porygon getting a mega evolution. Lapras would be cool, but I doubt that as well. I think those are just going to be released just again to be for release sake, just to have those toys available. Now you could be saying that could be the same thing for these mega Charizard XY Venusaur Blastoise that this could be a thing to coincide with that. Now I have to kind of agree that this could potentially just being them releasing toys, but that's why I'm doing this video. I want to get your thoughts. What do you think about all this mega evolution talk for Pokemon? Let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee. I think it's pretty cool. I would love mega evolutions to be introduced inside of the let's go game. So the games wouldn't feel so bare bones compared to Pokemon. On Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon on the battling side, as far as there, we know they're not going to be Z moves. We know potentially they won't be Mega Evolutions, but if they do add Mega Evolutions, that will be a way to you know spice it up. We know they're not going to be a ton of different types outside of what we will see in the 151. When I say that, I mean a lot of dual typings and stuff. I know a lot of the 151 did get added their dual typing later on down the road, but the Pokemon that were made specifically specifically for that are do come out in like the second generation third generation and stuff like that so again i want to know your thoughts what do you think do you think we're going to get mega evolutions inside of the pokemon let's go pikachu and let's go eevee games or do you think this is just them releasing toys to release toys it dropping in november may be a sheer coincidence let me know what you think in the comment section below like always guys i'm daddy i'm Fred on instagram and twitter and you guys can bring the conversation there i'm the american gamer in switzerland right here on YouTube and yes I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one so if you enjoy please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video peace I'm going to see you guys on the next one